What up, everybody? It's iPad Beatmaking here today with some game changing, life changing. If you are an iPad music producer, news, and if you are an iPad uh, video editor, big news for you as well. But Apple has officially announced that they are bringing Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro to the iPad. It says Pro apps introduce powerful features designed for iPad to deliver the ultimate mobile studio for video and music creators. Apple today unveiled Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad. Video and music creators can now unleash their creativity in new ways that are only possible on iPad. Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad bring all new touch interfaces that allow users to enhance their workflows with the immediacy and intuitiveness of multi-touch. Final Cut Pro for iPad introduces a powerful set of tools for creators to record, edit, finish, and share all from one portable device. Logic Pro for iPad puts the power of professional music creation in the hands of the creator no matter where they are with a complete collection of sophisticated tools for songwriting, beat making, recording, editing, and mixing. Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad will be available on the App Store as subscription starting Tuesday, May 23rd. We are excited to introduce Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad, allowing creators to unleash their creativity in new ways and in even more places, said Bob Borchers, Apple's Vice President of Worldwide Product Marketing. With a powerful set of intuitive tools designed for the portability, performance, and touch-first interface of iPad, Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro deliver the ultimate mobile studio. Final Cut Pro for iPad introduces an all-new touch interface and intuitive tools, unlocking new workflows for video creators. A new jog wheel makes the editing process easier than ever and enables users to interact with content in completely new ways. They can navigate the magnetic timeline, move clips, and make fast frame accurate edits with just the tap of a finger. And with the immediacy and intuitiveness of multi-touch gestures, push their creativity to new heights. With live drawing, users can draw and write directly on top of video content using Apple Pencil. On iPad Pro with M2, Apple Pencil Hover unlocks the ability for users to quickly skim and preview footage without ever touching the screen. They can also speed up their workflows by adding a magic keyboard or smart keyboard folio to utilize key commands creators can view and edit stunning HDR video, taking advantage of the liquid retina XDR display on the 12.9 inch iPad Pro and apply color grades with accuracy using reference mode. Pro Camera Mode in Multicam Video Editing. Pro Camera Mode brings even greater control to the creation process on iPad. Video creators can shoot high quality video in portrait or landscape orientation, monitor audio and available recording time, and manually control settings like focus, exposure, and white balance. Creators can capture, edit, and publish from a single device while in the field. And on iPad Pro with M2, users can even record in ProRes. With multicam video editing, clips can automatically be synchronized and edited together, and users can even switch angles in a multicam clip with just the touch of a finger. Final Cut Pro for iPad harnesses the power of Apple Silicon and machine learning to speed up time-consuming editing tasks. With scene removal masks, creators can quickly remove or replace the background behind a subject in a clip without using a green screen. Auto crop adjust footage for vertical, square, and other aspect ratios. And with voice isolation, background noise can easily be removed from audio captured in the field. Pro graphics effects and audio. Video creators can choose from a vast library of professional graphics effects and audio to enhance their storytelling. These include stunning HDR backgrounds, customizable animated patterns, and professional soundtracks that automatically adjust to the length of video. Import and export. Editors can import supported media from files or photos and save it directly inside of a Final Cut Pro project. Final Cut Pro for iPad also supports the ability to import projects created in iMovie for iOS and iPad users can export their Final Cut projects to a Mac. This sounds incredible for video editors. I don't really know where this now puts an app like LumaFusion, which was a trailblazer for mobile when we've now got uh, DaVinci, Resolve and we've also got now Final Cut Pro coming to the iPad. I guess in LumaFusion's defense, it will work on less than M1 level devices pretty good and it will also work on your iPhone. So 
I don't think LumaFusion is totally obsolete. I still think it's a great video editor, but now with the big boys coming to the platform, I just wonder how LumaFusion will respond as a result because this is pretty serious stuff and the desktop level of probably compatibility so you could start one place and finish another or vice versa. It's going to be a pretty big deal for video editors, I think. So it'll be interesting to see where this goes. And it's also going to be interesting to see what the subscription price will be, because Apple seems to not want to honor a desktop license on iOS. They want this to be a completely separate purchase and they don't want it to be able to be bought outright. They want it to be on a subscription model. So I'm wondering, is it going to be $10 a month, 20, 30? You know, it'll be interesting to find out. I mean, it's really a steal on desktop for what you get. Basically, I think it's like two or three hundred dollars and you get lifetime updates for free so far. So it'll be interesting to see how the economics of that break down but this is a huge development and now let's see what they say about logic logic pro for ipad combines the power of logic pro with the portability of ipad to unlock an all-in-one professional music creation app with multi-touch gestures music creators can play software instruments and interact naturally with controls as well as navigate complex projects with pinch to zoom and swipe to scroll Plug-in tiles put the most useful controls at the creator's fingertips, making it easy to quickly shape sounds. With the built-in mics on iPad, users can capture voice or instrument recordings. And with five studio quality mics on iPad Pro, users can turn virtually any space into a recording studio. Creators can also make precision edits and draw detailed track automation with Apple Pencil and connect a smart keyboard folio or magic keyboard to utilize key commands that speed up production. Now this sounds really cool. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this track automation with the Apple Pencil works. And I love that they allow the accessories like the magic keyboard to be fully utilized and mapped and I'm sure it'll support scrolling and all that kind of stuff, which is gonna be so great for vocal tracking, especially. And I like that it's using every aspect of the iPad, touch, the pencil, and the accessories. Continuing on, it says, an all new sound browser uses dynamic filtering to help music creators discover the perfect sound whenever inspiration strikes. The sound browser displays all available instrument patches, audio patches, plug-in presets, samples, and loops in a single location, and users can tap to audition any sound before loading it into a project to save time and stay in their creative flow. So as we can see here, it kind of looks like an upgraded GarageBand. It's kind of like a GarageBand Pro, which is really what I was hoping for in a Logic um, interface. I didn't really want to have the Mac version of Logic directly ported. I wanted something that was touch optimized and I didn't think the GarageBand look was too bad. It just wasn't powerful enough for me. And now with this, this looks pretty nice. Professional instruments and effects plugins, creators can shape the sonic qualities of their music with over a hundred powerful instruments and effects plugins in Logic Pro. Effects like vintage EQs, compressors, and reverbs let users tweak and fine tune their tracks. With multi-touch, creators can play instruments using a variety of play surfaces. Logic Pro on iPad comes with a massive collection of realistic sounding instruments and powerful synths, including Sample Alchemy, a new sample manipulation instrument that can transform any audio sample with the tap of a finger. Now this looks really, really cool. I like this. Let me go through and see the other pictures real quick. Yep, got the plugins all touch optimized, step effects. Wow, look at the quick sampler right there. Oh man, that is nice. That is nice. That's what we've needed, the quick sampler. It's gonna be great for your one shots and it can even do some slicing, which is great. And you see the compressors. And it's got drum kit designer, which is wonderful. I hope that the drum kit designer patches are able to port over from the desktop version, that would be incredible. Producers can chop and flip samples, program beats and bass lines, and craft custom drum kits with a set of beat making and production tools. Beat Breaker, a new time and pitch morphing plugin, lets music creators swipe and pinch to radically reshape and shuffle sounds. 
Quick Sampler can chop and transform audio samples into entirely new playable instruments, and Step Sequencer lets users program drum patterns, bass lines, and melodies, and even automate plugins with just a few taps. Drum Machine Designer enables the creation of custom drum kits by applying samples and unique plugins to any drum pad. With live loops, users can capture inspiration and quickly build arrangement by mixing and matching musical loops. And here is the beat breaker here, which looks really cool. This is this is gonna be great. Like this is gonna be wonderful. This is such a win for iPad users. A full featured mixer complete with channel strips, volume faders, pan controls, plugins, sends, and precise automation gives users everything they need to create a professional mix entirely on iPad. Multi-touch enables creators to mix intuitively and move multiple faders at once. And the mixer meter bridge lets them quickly navigate an overview of track levels all from iPad. That is a beautiful looking mixer. It's not too busy. It's got just what you need on it. Just like you would kind of expect in Logic Remote, it looks similar to that. So good, glad to see that. Import and export. Logic Pro for iPad supports round trip capabilities, making it easy to move projects between Logic Pro for Mac and iPad. Yes, that is a big win iPad users can export their finished songs in a variety of compressed and lossless audio formats, as well as individual audio track stems. Music creators can make a soundtrack in Logic Pro for iPad and export it to Final Cut Pro for iPad, providing incredible flexibility for working across music and video. Logic Pro for iPad also supports the ability to open projects created in GarageBand for iOS, so users can take their music to the next level with Pro features. Okay, cool. We've got pricing down here also. Starting Tuesday, oh my God, this is so cheap. What? Starting Tuesday, May 23rd, Final Cut Pro and Logic Pro for iPad will each be available on the App Store for $4.99 per month or $49 a year with a one month free trial. Are you serious? This is easy. This is way too easy. Like 50 bucks for the year, less than that. Steal. How you how are you beating that? You're not beating that. That's an incredible value. There is plugins that are on subscription basis right now. I'm not going to name any names, but some of these plugins are on subscription for like five to ten dollars a month. So the fact that we're getting Logic Pro for only four ninety nine a month or forty nine dollars a year, which breaks down to what? Let me get my calculator out. What does that break down to a month if you pay for the year? That's four dollars and eight cents, basically, if my math is correct. So very, very, very big win. I think that this, um, this changes everything. This changes everything. I knew that piano tech dropping would kind of be a watershed moment, but I did not expect Logic to come behind that so soon. Now, obviously, I don't know if these two are related at all. I kind of doubt it, but that's not really the point. The point is that we now have a pro DAW, a no compromise DAW, that is a one-to-one -one port or might even be a little bit better um, for the touch interface specifically of iPad. I mean, this is incredible. So if you're seeing these sales on iPads, now might be the time to go ahead and grab one. If you've been rocking with iPad production for a while, this is the payoff we've all been waiting for. We've had a bunch of effects. Those are great. They've kind of built the groundwork for this. You can now use a Fab Filter plugin or a Tone Boosters plugin or Piano Tech, IK Multimedia stuff, Mixbox. You know, there's so many things that we have on the plugin front that you can now use to go along with your professional DAW. So, coming from desktop, we're really not missing too much. The one weak spot I would say that we still have on iOS currently would be like instruments. There is no Omnisphere. Right. We just got piano tech, but there is no like uh, Omnisphere. There is no contact, um, you know, all that, all those kind of heavier libraries like the native instrument stuff, the spectrosonic stuff. We don't have those, but we do have a lot of great stuff and it's only getting better as evidenced here. And I'm sure that Logic Pro will bring along a great sample library as well. So we are on our way and I think uh, a move like this is going to tell bigger company, not bigger companies, no one's bigger than Apple, let's be clear, but other big plug-in companies such as Waze or UAD, 
maybe even Spectrasonics, maybe Native Instruments that, hey, we've got a real professional market here and we're not there and we're missing money by not having our plugins there, you know? So I think with a move like this, this is gonna cause a tsunami in the entire iPad ecosystem as far as music creation goes. Video creation as well, but I'm gonna focus more on music because that's, you know, what I'm really doing right now is the music creation. So I think this is gonna change everything and you're gonna look crazy if you don't have an iPad app in the next, let's call it 18 to 24 months, you know, it's. If you don't have one right now, it's kind of like you're, you're missing out. But in the next 18 to 24 months, once it becomes, you know, truly normalized, I don't know how you, you know, get around not having an iPad app. And, you know, it's just going to be something that users expect. I also wonder what this means for a company like Ableton when they see something like this does this inspire them to say hey we've got to port our app over as well does steinberg look at cubasis and now say we've got to bring cubase over you know the desktop version you know a lot of questions that i i wonder about this whole situation or is only is apple the only company able to pull off something like this because they're just so big and they don't really expect much of a return i don't know if steinberg would port cubase over for five dollars a month right personas with studio one would they bring a full version of studio one six over or, or version seven over for five dollars a month or you know somewhere therein i don't know if they would find that that's worth it for them for apple it's all integrated you buy an ipad from them you buy their apps from them their icloud service their subscriptions you know they're they're everything they're everywhere so for them this is a smart move but i do think that as time goes on, you're going to look crazier and crazier as a company for not embracing and being a part of the iPad platform, because once you really try iOS music production, you find there's nothing like it. It really gets rid of the need for all, you know, MIDI controllers and standalone hardware and because everything could just be done right on the touchscreen. And it's so intuitive, so easy. So. Those are my thoughts on this. This is huge news. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. But with all that said, I'm about to get out of here. It's iPad beat making. Peace.